This is another Sudoku Primer video. Go to sudokuprimer.com for more information. This is puzzle number 90 from Sudoku to Go, volume 101, by Soap Opera Digest. It's a diabolical puzzle. I've already done an easy, medium, hard, and diabolical puzzle from this volume. And now I'm just doing some more um, more videos on some interesting techniques or, or ways to, to solve more difficult puzzles. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, partially filled in. I've, I've gone through and found all the easier numbers to find. Um, and at this point, it's there aren't any numbers that are readily obvious that are easy to find, so we're a little bit stuck. We've got a few, th uh, couple of interesting things here. We've got triplets right here, four, seven, eight, and here we got one, four, seven triplets. Okay. Um, we also have a, there's a two six here, and a two six here, and a two six here. So that means that these are two six twins right here. But if you try and uh, solve the other numbers. What is it? Seven, eight, and nine. Um, this is seven, eight, nine. This is seven, eight, nine, and this is seven, eight. So we can't solve those. Um, so we're kind of stuck. I did find uh, something that will help us get unstuck, um, and it has to do with this row right here, row four. Um, if you'd like to. Um, and that, that includes these two six twins right here. If you'd like to stop the video and see if you can figure something out on your own, uh, go ahead and stop it right now. Um, but I'll just continue on and, uh, and show you what I found. This has to do with uh, um, twins and triplets, uh, as you know I really like. And initially we've only got two numbers here, a seven and a nine. And so we've got seven numbers left that we don't know. Um, you know, seven empty cells here with seven seven numbers. So let's just look at that. Uh, what do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Are the, the seven numbers missing? Here we've got a three. So one, two, four, five, six, eight. Not helping us much. Here we've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. So 4, 5, 8. And um, an easier way to search the rest is if you think that uh, you may find some other number or other cells that may be twins or triplets with, with this one, you can look for the numbers that can't be in here. In this case, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. So we have 4, 5, and 8 here, and 1, 2, 3, 6 that can't be here. So let's look for another cell that has um, um, <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, and 6 outside of it um, um, that, that this cell can see. Like right here, we know this is 2, 6 twins, so we don't need to look at that one. But if we didn't know these were 2, 6 twins, we'd have a 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, eight. So we'd have a two, six, eight here. But we do know these are two, six twins. Okay, so let's look at this one right here. We've got a one, two, three, six. So this is a four, five, eight also. Hmm. So you see the one, two, three, six, and the one, two, three, six for these two cells. Let's look over here. Oh, here's a one. Let's look at this one. One, two, three, six, eight. So this is four, five. The only numbers left here are four, five. So we've got triplets here. Four, five, eight, four, five, eight, and four, five. And yes, you can have triplets with only two of the numbers in them um, in one of the cells. In this case, we only have four and five here. We've already got an eight. But those are triplets with these four, five, eights here. Um, so 
we can't solve any of those. We don't see any any fours or fives here, or four five eights here, or four five eights here. So, so we found the triplets, but we can't solve them yet. So that means there's only four other numbers here that are left, uh, and those four numbers are one, two, three, six. So let's look for one, two, three, six in these other places. We've got a two six here. So that means that this is a 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 6, do that again, 1, 2, 3, 6, and this is a 4, 5, and so this is 1, 2, 3, 6, so these are 1, 3 twins. We know this is a 2, 6, and this is the only other cell um, that we haven't identified yet. And so this is 2, 6 also. We can show you that by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. So this is 1, 2, 6, but then there's a 1, 3, there are 1, 3 twins here, so that eliminates the 1 over here. So that's 2, 6. So we've got 2, 6 twins, 4, 5, 8 twins, and 1, 3 twins along there. Can we solve any of those? Uh, the two six twins here and the here we can't solve. We don't have a two or a six here or here. Uh, can't solve these because there's no two or six in these rows. Uh, one, three. These aren't readily apparent. Okay. So what can we do with that now? Uh, we found some twins and triplets. We've narrowed down these septuplets here, or seven numbers, down to one set of triplets and two sets of twins. Okay. But we can't solve any of them um, readily. So let's look at what else we can do. Okay, we've got, uh, let's see, we've got an eight and an eight right here. So one of these has to be an eight. And this is part of the one three twins, so we know that an eight can't fit there, so we can fill in an eight. All right. Another thing we know is we know these are two six twins, so this can't be a seven or a nine. Seven. So these seven and nine, this seven and nine here can be a seven, one of those three, and a nine can be one of these two. So therefore, we got seven nine there, seven nine there. So we got seven nine here, and we've got a nine there, so we can solve those. Seven nine. Okay. Now we have one threes here, and so therefore we have four fives here. See, now we couldn't have found these seven nines if we didn't know these were two six twins here, because then this could have been a seven or a nine also. But since we have twins here. We know that these are seven and nine. So we have four fives here, and there's a five, so we can fill those in. Okay, now we know we've got four eights right here, four eight twins, because we found one of the triplets. Okay, so we've got an eight here, got an eight here. So one of these is an eight, and we've got a one here and ones here. So one of these is a one. So we got one eight twins here now. Um, <clears throat> and these one three twins, we can solve them because we have ghost ones up here. We've got a one here. We know these are one four seven triplets. A, a one can't fit here, so these are ghost ones. So we know that's a three. That's a one. <clears throat> Okay, so because of um, what we narrowed down in this row, we've already filled in this entire square here, and um, we also know these are one four sevens. So that can't be a one, so it's a four or a seven, and there's a seven there. The four was also the last number in this column, so you could have found it that way. Now we've got one sevens here, so we know these two numbers here. One, two, three. Four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, nine, and there's a four there. And 
now let's see what we've got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, seven, and there's a three, seven there. So that's a two. There's a three, so we know that's a seven, and that's a three. Okay, so we have seven, 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 two, 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 and a three, three, three. Okay, what do we have left here? We've got one, nine, one and nine. Okay, there's a nine, so that's a one, and that's a nine. Okay, now let's look at these two sixes here and two sixes here. Now we can't really do much with those. We've got um, we've got one eight twins here. Let's see what else we can do here. We've got a four here and fours here. We have four eight twins. So and there's a four here. So one of these is a four. Okay. We've got a five here, and we know one of these has to be a five because here we've got two six and four eights. So one, and these are two six twins. So we know that can't be a five. Well, we got a five here too. So we know this is a 5 right here. One of these is a 5, and that's a 5, so one of these has to be a 5, and we've got a 5 here now. So we have four 5 twins here. One 8 twins, four 5 twins. We can't solve either of those two sets of twins, but that eliminates everything here except for these two cells, which is a 2 and a 6 here, and 2 and 6 here. We've got a 6 there, so that is a 2. That's a six, so now we can solve these two six twins. All right. So we've got four fives here, and we got five seven nine here. We got a five here, we got a nine here and here, so we know that's a nine. Okay, so five sevens are left. We can't solve those. One sevens here. Here we have four seven eight. Can we do anything with that? Here's a four, so we know that's a seven eight, and that's a seven eight. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Okay, so we don't have a seven or eight there. Do we have a seven or eight here? No. We can't solve those. Let's look at. Uh, <coughs> Let's see, so what do we have here? We have five sevens and four five, um, four eights here. Seven eights there. Oh, here we've only got one number left, and that's an eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's an eight. I always want to make sure that I'm putting the right number in there. Okay, we've got an 8 and an 8 here, so that's an 8. So now we only have 7 8s left here and 7 8s here. Okay. Um, <coughs> only have one number left here, and that would be a 7. Okay. Seven eights, one sevens. Let's look at this row right here. One, four, seven. One, four, seven. There's a seven, so these are one, four, one, four, because of that seven. So we know that's a seven. Okay? And so this has to be a one. Okay? Now we know seven, seven, seven. Oh, these are four sevens now. I'm sorry. I, I, um, yeah, these are four sevens, not seven eights. These are seven eights, but we've got an eight here, so we know that's a seven. We know this is a four because a four can't fit here. And so we can fill in the eight here. Okay, now we've got eight and eight here, so we know this is an eight because they're four eights. We also have a four there, so. Four couldn't fit there, 
and then we have five sevens left. Let's see, still can't solve those. Let's look at this loner cell right here. We got a three, four, six, nine. Three, four, six, nine. So we can't solve that one yet. We've got a loner cell here. Let's look at this column right here. We've got two, six, four, two, six, four, eight, three, eight, three. Um, we don't know what that is, but we know that it's an identical twin to this one right here. So it's either a 5 or a 7. Okay. Um, and these are 5, 7 twins also. 5, 7 there and 5, 7 there. Okay. So we can't solve that one. Let's look at this row right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 6. Okay, and there's a 6. So we got a 2 there. 6 there. Okay, so we got two two twos. One of these is a 2, and there's a 2 there. Okay, uh, got our 6s. 7s, 3. Okay. Um, <coughs> let's look here. 1, 5, 7. 1, 5, and 7. There's a 7, and there's a 1, so that's a 5. So we've got 1 and 7 left here. There's a 1, so that's a 7, and that's a, a 1. These were identical twins, uh, so that's a 7, and this is a 5. Okay, now we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so that's a 5 there. Okay. All right, let's look at this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine here. And there's a nine there. So eight, nine. Okay. What do we have here? One and four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, one and four. We still can't solve that one. Let's look at these two. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, these were four fives and these were one eights. Okay, there's an eight. So that's a 1, and that's an 8. There's a 5, so we have 4, 5 there. We found those twins earlier, if you remember. And then we have 1, 4 here. So there's a 4 and there's a 1, so that's a 1 and a 4. Okay, so we solved, those, solved this puzzle pretty quickly after we found that breakthrough. And uh, as I mentioned, this row right here, even though there were seven numbers missing, we narrowed it down to a set of triplets and two sets of twins, which helped us solve this entire puzzle. Twins and triplets are very powerful, even if you can't solve them once you find them. Just the fact that you find twins and triplets and other, um, other sets of numbers that are like quadruplets, quintuplets, any number. Um, they help you quite a bit. They're very powerful. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.